Hi guys, welcome to a new reading vlog. So ignore the mess behind me. I am cleaning my room, so I just put that there for now. So ignore that, but hello, welcome to a new reading vlog. I haven't seen you guys in a hot second. It's just been a crazy start to the spring slash summer season. I have a lot of good stuff going on, especially at the end of April. So that is that, that's where I've been. Um, I haven't meant to not upload stuff. I've had stuff filmed. I started like multiple reading vlogs and just never got around to finishing them. Uh, so hopefully this will be one that I stick with. Um, but hi, welcome to anybody who is back from, you know, previous videos or is brand new. Uh, this week is going to be on the busy side. I have a, quite a lot going on, but I figured I'd take you guys along because a lot of that stuff is stuff you might be interested in. So other than work and school, I am taking a summer course that finishes up here in a couple of weeks. Um, and I work four days this week. I just have Taekwondo um, twice this week. Either I go tonight and Wednesday or Tuesday and Thursday. I haven't decided yet. And I'm also going to Boston Comic Con on Friday. Friday night, uh, I'm meeting the cast of The Clone Wars, who I actually met one of the members of last year. I'll put uh, that picture right here for you guys. Um, so I'm really excited to meet the entire cast this year. I'm very, very excited. I wanted to last year, but just couldn't afford it. So I've been saving up. So that is Friday night. I have a family thing on Saturday, and then Sunday is Father's Day, so we'll be doing something with my dad that day. Um, other than that, I don't think there's much else going on. As far as reading, I have been reading, thank God. Um, I've mostly been moving to audiobooks, that's been my go-to, but I have a physical copies of the books I am reading right now. So on my audio right now, my current read is The Selection by Kiara Cass. I am 58 pages into this. I'm actually surprisingly liking it. I did not know what to expect going in. Um, I didn't. I knew it was going to be kind of on the cheesy side, and it is cheesy, but I really like it. I think the story is interesting. I'll talk more about my full thoughts when I'm a little bit further along into it. We're just now getting to like the actual selection part. So that is that. Uh, but so far, so good on this. I'm very, very surprised. And then after that, I think... I am going to pick up Fourth Wing on audiobook as well. I might start reading this physically. Like I said in a couple of wrap ups, this has been really catching my eye. I took a vacation in Amsterdam at the end of April. I saw copies of this book everywhere. And when I tell you they were gorgeous, they were gorgeous. Some of them had like purple sprayed edges. And you guys know I'm a sucker for sprayed edges. I was so tempted to pick up a copy. And I didn't, and I'm kind of mad at myself, but if I like this well enough, maybe I'll order one online. Um, but this has been compared to Akatar, and that's really all I know. It has Dragon Riders in it. Sounds right up my alley, so I will hopefully be diving into this later this week. Um, that is it. As far as like physically reading, I haven't physically read anything in a while. I have my reread of House of Earth and Blood by Sarah J. Mass that I've been in the middle of since like February. I also am rereading Grey by Pete Wentz, which is on my bookshelf over there, uh, my favorite book of all time. Uh, I've been reading that, rereading that since I saw Fall Out Boy at the end of March, so oops. <laughs> like I said, I've just been very busy. It's been a very busy year so far. Um, so we'll just, I'm going to take it as it goes. Like I said, I'm going to finish cleaning my room. I'm going to listen to more of the selection while I do that. Uh, tonight I do have company coming over. It is now about 2.30. They're coming over around 4. So we'll see how much of that I can get done. And hopefully I can clean my entire room. Also, Malori is right over there. You can see her. She says hi. But yeah, other than that, I will talk to you guys a little bit with another reading update. See you soon. Hi, guys. So it is a little bit later in the day. It is about 10.30, I would say. A lot later in the day than when I last updated you. But I don't really have a reading update for you, per se. I listened to just like a tiny bit more of the selection on audiobook. Um, but like I said, I had company come over today that took up a lot of my time. I ended up going out, going to like Marshalls and Target. Um, and that was that. Uh, that took up a good majority of the day. And then get home, eat dinner, play some games, and yada yada. Um, but I think I might actually do some more tonight because the game I usually play at night, Final Fantasy XIV with my friends, is going down for maintenance tonight. So I don't have to worry about that. Um, other than that... <coughs> sorry, that was Malori barking. Um, 
I have been watching some booktube, like actually getting down, getting back into watching booktube content. And I have been re watching, I should say, so many reading vlogs for this book right here. House of Leaves by Mark C. Danielowski. Um, I am planning a read-along for this sometime in October, maybe November. I'm thinking a whole month of October, but I'll, I'll talk more about that in its own, like, announcement video. So I've been trying to figure out so many different ways on how to go about reading this book. And I'm still confused as hell. Uh, I'm, re I'm watching right now, excuse me, Katie Colson's video of when she read it, her reading vlog. I'm going to link it down below. It was fantastic. Um, and it has me even more intrigued than I was before, but also insanely nervous about what this book is going to do to me. Um, I am fully committed to reading this book this year. It is a book that I not only want to read this year, I need to read it this year. Um, it's been on my like top 10 to read in such and such year for the past like three or four years. So whether I include that in a top 10 to read in the year video or not, it has been on there. Um, yeah, I really need to read this <laughs> and I'm very, very intrigued. I have already have post-it notes ready and markers to mark where I'm reading because I know I'm going to have to flip back and forth on, um, where I am in the book. But again, I am going to make an announcement video announcing the read-along sometime, probably in the next couple of weeks so people get prepared and maybe I'll get some co-hosts along with me if you guys are interested. Let me know in the comments down below and I'll reach out to you on social media. Um, yeah, so that is what I've been doing. And again, trying to figure out ways to approach this. And I think I have a solid idea of what I wanted to do. So like I said, I'll leave Katie's video down below if you guys are interested in watching it and reading this book for yourselves. But that is going to be it for me, I think, for the night. Um, I am going to go ahead and just relax. I'll probably watch some more <laughs> Hustle please reading vlogs again, getting different ideas or where how or how I want to approach the book in October. I'll talk to you guys in the morning. Good night. Hi guys, happy Tuesday. So it is currently about 1 30, 2 o'clock right now. I have a reading update for you. I have done a lot of reading, or well, I think it's a lot of reading for me physically in the past 24 hours. I have read 60 pages of Fourth Wing by Rebecca Yaros. I read this last night. Uh, like I said, I'm 60 pages in. I'm really liking it so far. Um, so far, I know this is compared to Akatarla, but I'm getting more Throne of Glass vibes, personally, mixed in with The Hunger Games and a little bit of Divergent. That's just what I have gotten so far. That could change, obviously, in the next 400 and so pages I have left in this book. But I am really liking it so far. I had a feeling I would. It's a quick read. It's dense, yes. Um... You know, it's been a while since I picked up a high fantasy, but I'm not complaining. I'm really liking it. I cannot wait to read more. I'm going to try to read more before I have to go to work at four. Um, so we got a little bit of time. Uh, right now, uh, Moira's laying down for a nap, and I'll probably, maybe I'll try to do some reading while she's doing that. I think I'm going to order some Chipotle for dinner slash lunch um, and go from there. So I will check on you guys tonight before I go to bed with another reading update. See you soon. Hi guys, so it is now later in the day, it's about 10.30 now, um, I have been home from work for about an hour, and I don't really have a reading update for you, I didn't actually get any reading done before I went to work today, like I had planned, um, but that is what it is, I'm not sure if I'm going to be reading more tonight, um, I might listen to my audiobook while I'm playing my video game, but we'll see. Um, tomorrow is going to be kind of a long day. I have class to start out the day. And then um, I have company coming over once again uh, to get ready for Friday for Boston Comic Con. And yeah, we'll just see how the day goes. I Maybe I'll get some reading done before class tomorrow if I wake up early enough. Um, but we'll see. Other than that, I'm going to let you guys go for the night. I figured I'd just pop in and say hi before bed. And I'll talk to you guys in the morning. Bye for now. Hi guys. It is now, I guess, technically Saturday. It's midnight, so I'm trying to be a little quiet. So, sorry if I'm not as loud as usual. It's been a very, very long day. I was at work from 7 to 3, and then right right to Boston for uh, Fan Expo, or Boston Comic Con, as you'll often hear me refer to it as. 
Uh, so I've been basically out of the house all day. I am very tired. So I'm gonna try to make this update quick, but I wanted to pop on here since I haven't updated you guys in a couple of days. Um, I have done zero reading. Um, I just have been so busy with other stuff going on. So I haven't had time to read and I'm hoping to change that tomorrow. And then uh, same thing with audiobook or listening. I haven't listened to any of my audiobook. Again, too busy right now. So that is that. Um, but main reason I wanted to pop on here was to do a little haul for you guys from Boston Comic Con. Uh, I had a great time. This was my third time going. Not in a row. I went in 2018. I'll link that vlog because I actually vlogged it up above for you guys if you're interested. And I went last year and I also went this year. Last year was probably, no, maybe this time was my favorite experience of the three I've been to. It's basically tied between this year and last year. Uh, last year I was able to meet Hayden Christensen, uh, the actor who played Anakin Skywalker in episodes two and three of the Star Wars saga. I also met Matt Lehner, who is the voice of Anakin Skywalker in Star Wars The Clone Wars. So it was an Anakin filled adventure last year. And this year, the Clone Wars cast, the whole Clone Wars cast, the four main voice actors all came. So I decided to treat myself and get a photo op with all of them. And it was amazing and I have a really funny story to tell you about it but I will tell you guys about that in the morning because it is so late. So I'll show you guys the photo op and I will attach a better picture of this at the end of the vlog for you guys to see it better along with other pictures from today. So this is the photo op. Uh, like I said it was incredible. I, this is going right on my wall with my other photo ops that I have from over the years. So that is that. So we have Matt Laner, aka Anakin Skywalker, myself, Ashley Eckstein, Ahsoka Tano, as she's known in the show as, and James Arnold Taylor, the voice of Obi-Wan Kenobi, again, in the Clone Wars, and it was unbelievable, guys. They are all so sweet, and like I said, I can't wait to tell you guys this story in the morning, because you'll, it's wild, let's put it that way. All right, getting into the haul of things that I purchased myself at the convention, I just want to tell you guys about the photo op, at least before my phone died because I am low in, running low on battery. So the first thing I purchased myself this time around, I usually get a few pieces of merch, uh, depending on what vendors are there, was this sweatshirt that I'm currently wearing. It is an Anakin Skywalker themed sweatshirt from Her Universe, which is actually Ashley Eckstein, the voice of Ahsoka Tano's company and they make all sorts of nerdy fashion. A lot of it's for women, which is really cool to see. It's female owned, so that's great to see. So it is just red and blue and silver themed to Anakin's outfit in the Clone Wars, and it has the little Republic slash Jedi symbol on the chest, and it says Anakin on top. I don't know how well you guys can see it, but I'm gonna link the Her, web Her Universe website down below, and also along with a couple other vendors I'm gonna mention in today's video. So that is that. I also got the Ahsoka Tano Covered in Glitter exclusive to the conventions pop. I haven't treated myself to a Funko Pop in many years. So I got that. Um, this is exclusive to com uh, Comic Con slash conventions only, but it is absolutely beautiful. It's kind of hard to tell, but she is absolutely covered in glitter. So I'll attach a better picture for uh, this pop over here if you guys are curious. So that is that from Her Universe. Again, website will be linked down below. And then I also got a couple other pieces from a uh, company called Snips & Co. Again, themed to Ahsoka. And I will again link them down below as well. The first one of those is this uh, yarn art piece of Anakin Skywalker slash Darth Vader. So this is what it looks like. So half of it is Anakin's face, half of it is Darth Vader's face which I love. You guys know I love Anakin Skywalker. He's my favorite character in Star Wars. So this is so awesome. They did a great job. Again, it will be linked down below if anybody's interested to check them out. And along with that, I also got this bottle cap pin again of Anakin from the Clone Wars. So hopefully you guys can see that okay. But that is that. And that is everything that I got at the convention. So I'm gonna let you guys go for the night. I gotta go to bed and I will see you in the morning. Good night. One more thing guys, I actually found this in my bag before I was going to head into bed. I actually got this pen also at the Her Universe table. Um, it was a box and you had like six different options of mystery pens to get it. So you had 
Anakin, Ahsoka, Obi-Wan, Yoda, uh, Captain Rex, and I think it was Bo-Katan Kryze, I could be wrong on that, but I got Yoda, so here is what that pin looks like, I absolutely loved it, so that is that, I just wanted to show you guys that before I forgot, anyways, see you guys in the morning, Good night. Hi guys, happy Saturday, so it is now about 1 o'clock in the afternoon, um, I do have a family gathering to go to later today, um, but I have a little bit of free time before I go, so here I am. I'm going to talk about what happened yesterday, as I mentioned in the previous clip at my photo op experience with the Clone Wars cast. So I'm going to try to keep this brief, but it's kind of hard to explain without going into too much detail. So with every photo op um, at Fan Expo, from my personal experience, you usually have like more than one line depending on who you meet. With, for example, with Hayden Christensen last year, there was probably a good three to four hundred people in line, so they had like eight rows of people, quite lightly. Now, with the Clone Wars cast this year, since there was four of them in the building, they had split it up into two different groups, so you could get a picture with all four members of the Clone Wars cast, so Matt, Ashley, James, and then Dee Bradley Baker, who played the voices of all the clones, was also there. And you could get a photo op with all four of them. And you could do what I did because of price problems, because it was ridiculously expensive to get a picture with all four of them. You could get the Clone Wars trio package, which was Matt, Ashley, and James. So Anakin, Obi-Wan, and Ahsoka. So, I bought that. That was my whole plan was I, once um, it was announced that Matt and James would be there. So I bought it and I went last night. My photo op was at 7.30 and we arrived at the convention about 4.45, quarter to five. So I'm in line. Um, there is the line for the quad picture all the way to the left of me and there's a line right next to me. And then I was told to go in, say, line number seven or something. And there was, again, the line next to me was, like, line number six, for example. So, I'm waiting there. I got in line a little early, so I could just get right up there and have no issues waiting a long time. And, you know, I'm making friends with line, chatting away. And uh, I eventually find out that... The line next to me is just to meet Matt, the voice of Anakin, who, again, I met last year, so I had that whole experience. So I come to realization at that point, as soon as they started to go in for their photo op with Matt, that I'm the only one in line for the trio uh, photo op, which is insane. Now, Friday is the shorter day of the convention. It's only from 4 to 9 p.m., and Saturday today would be the big day. That's the day I normally go. Um, but just it was scheduling conflicts. I couldn't go on a Saturday this year, so I went last night. So I'm like, oh my gosh, I am the only one in line for the trio, which was like completely shocking. I literally have a photo of my reaction. I will post it right here. Now, the lady that you see behind me over my shoulder was in another line for a different celebrity. So she wasn't in my line. I was the only one for this particular photo op which was insane. So I'm like, if you guys want to send the quad first, you can, that's fine. Cause I needed a few minutes to process it. They were like, Oh no, you're, you're scheduled first. I'm like, Oh, okay. I guess I'm going now. Uh, so eventually they let me behind the curtain and are getting me ready to go meet all the uh, members of the Clone Wars. And I'm like, Oh, I was not fully prepared for it to be just be me in the line. And it was, crazy but it all worked out in the end I had a few extra moments with the cast of the Clone Wars and it was some of the best moments of my life I've been waiting 16 years to meet all three of them like I said Matt I let I met last year and is a wonderful human being meeting Ashley and meeting James was a dream come true so it all worked out in the end I figured you guys might get a crack out of that I do think more people bought the trio photo op but they're probably going today because it is the big convention day so that is that but that is my experience but it was a fabulous photo op regardless i had a great time and i will definitely be meeting these three again if they do come back to uh, comic con next year so that was that i just want to pop in here and show you guys that um for the rest of the day 
I don't know what, I'm t what time I'm leaving for my family event, so I will just play it by ear. I think I will do some reading before I go. Um, I do need to clean my room because it is a complete disaster. And then I will go from there, so I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alright guys, it is now Monday and it's time to wrap up this week's reading vlog. So, overall this week was a decent reading week. It went better than I expected. I read about 60 and so pages of Fourth Wing and I am six chapters into the selection by Kara Cass. So hopefully I can either finish one of those books or both of those books in the next week, but you guys will see that in this week's reading vlog or this upcoming week's reading vlog, I should say. But that is going to be it for this week's reading vlog, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already for future vlogs and other bookish content. And let me know in the comments down below how your June is going, how your reading month is going, how life is going. I would love to know. And as always, all my social links are linked down below for you guys if you'd like to follow me on any of those. And with all being said, I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day and I'll see you guys soon for another video. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye!